other than the servos, this is the last set of cuts I have. I'm not going to follow the manufacturer's recommendation of installing bays into the top of the wing and doing all the cutouts. And even though it's pretty cool stuff, it, I see it as heavy and, and I don't like taking foam out of a plane that I don't have to. And especially since I've cut the foam off the back of this plane, I, there's really no point in cutting more foam off this plane. So, next thing I'm going to do is measure out the elevons and cut them. Okay, the elevons are cut. Uh, I changed my mind and I decided to use as much of, of the wood as possible so that I can keep uh, larger pieces of scrap. So I'm going to paint these Elevons black with the cheap 99 cent Walmart paint. And then after that I'll put the 5mm lamination on it. So, you know, this plan's on its way. Um, Painting is really all I can do for the rest of the afternoon. Then uh, in the evening I'll cut in the servos. Okay. Well, we had, unfortunately, a death in the family. Uh, one of my wife's relatives who was 98, unfortunately, died, and her funeral is tomorrow. So she's coming home early from her business trip, and that means the garage is going to be her parking spot once again. So I'm going to film the rest of this somewhere else, but I just wanted to give some progress, or an update on the progress of this plane. Um, things are sitting on here right now. I uh, just, they're not glued in or taped in or anything else like that but I just wanted to kind of go over what this is going to look like. Um, these are three inch elevons and so you can see how big they are compared to the ones that are normally two inch that come with the plane. Um, I'm going to put big fat servos right here I and mean, I, I do have some heavy duty servos I can put on this plane um, and so they're going to be in the meat of the wing itself. Uh, beyond the leading, um, I should say, beyond the center of gravity so that it's not counting against the plane when uh, I put them in. It's going to be counting towards the weight on the front of the plane. So, um, the color scheme is black and white. I'm going to keep it simple, black and white. The whole plane is simple. I know it's extremely simple. I know it's insulting to the guy who devoted his time to make this beautiful wing for me. But I wanted a real simple wing and this is what I'm getting. Um, anyways, there's the winglets are black, so it goes along with the color scheme. I'm going to have a band of cono coat right here that's going to be black, and then this will be white, and then this center section will be black, and white again, and black on this end. So you got the idea that it's going to be just a black and white plane. Um, in the center here is called a stick mount. I, it's a motor mount. The idea behind these things uh, is that you basically it's alloy and it attaches to a 10 by 10 or I think it's 3 8 inch piece of square wood you find these at Home Depot they're kind of hidden so you have to ask somebody it's in the lumber department um, and anyways um, what I'm going to do is you attach it here I painted this of course um, you attach it and then you glue it and then you, what I do also is I put zip ties here and here so it prevents it from moving around and most likely I'm going to put the speed controller on the bottom I haven't decided yet it might go on the top but um, that's um, how it's going to work the stick's going to stay on top um, I'm trying to keep on the bottom is of course the, the battery is going to be there so the speed controller is going to be protected by the battery so uh, I've had batteries on the bottom of my planes now for the past year and, and they really haven't done much damage uh, mostly because I land in grass. Um, the motor is not this purple motor this is a DYS motor unfortunately this is for a much larger prop than this plane could take. I'm going to put on something called the Rockstar BR2212 um, I believe it's like about 210 watts so it it seems like it's a really underpowered motor. It's 1400 kV, which is, you know, very strong. Um, it can go up to 4S. But uh, the thing that's interesting about it is that it um, puts out about 900 grams of thrust, okay, 910 to be exact, which is equivalent to 2 pounds. So I weighed the plane, it's about 6 or 7 ounces, just the foam by itself. That means there's just a lot of leftover room. Um, or things like, of course, the motor, the elevons, um, all the gear, and the heavy batteries that the plane's going to take. And the plane will be able to drive with this motor. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. 
Um, it's going to be a great motor. I've used them before in other planes. It works great. 1400 kV is actually has a little bit of performance to it. I was thinking about using about 1000 uh, kV, which would have made this kind of slow, but 1400 kV has some kick to it, um, so I'll be able to have fun with the plane as well. And, you know, that's pretty much it. It's going to be, uh, I should also mention that the Gorilla Glue dried actually much better than I thought it was. There's only a few spots where it kind of went over at the top. Uh, very easy to, man to fix that. I'm going to use white um, tape on the leading edge. It's going to be a duct tape, white duct tape. And then I'm going to, of course, cover it with the Econo coat and the lamination. So it provides a little extra strength. Um, I don't use bright colored tapes on planes like this because this thing's going to fly pretty high in the sky and what I like are big bands. I see those a lot better than strips of tape. And by the time I, I've used the two inch tape you know, in bright colors before, by the time you get to about 300 feet you really can't see it anymore. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep working on this and I